Well, that's the secondary done after who knows how long. Let's keep, keep going on to Beaker's d Depot. This is an interesting level to go quickly through because you have to do everything at once, basically. This area here is probably going to take the longest out of everything. Just going to keep moving. Try and keep up with this. This song gives me so much nostalgia for some reason. Stop shooting at me, please. Oh my goodness, that enemy there is annoying. This is actually one of the coolest levels, now that I'm back into it. It doesn't feel like it's one of the cooler levels at the time of playing it. And when you think about it, you don't think it's the coolest. But it kind of is. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it is pretty good. 220. You can kind of almost use the roll before you actually land in. And that might be a good way to do this, but I'm struggling getting the aiming right for it. Also, I'm just dying, apparently. Being too careless. I need to actually take out the enemy so I'm less likely to die. Just gonna go throw it through here since I can, basically. Oh, if I go fast right now, I might actually be able to get onto this thing, which is moving all over the place for some reason. Because if you, if you can get onto this round one, basically, so you don't have to wait for it to loop around, that'd be good. Easier said, said than done, though. Oh, really? You save all the time so you can lose it. Not that I think I saved any time. Charger feels a little bit slow to just get things done. I'm way behind the thing, as you can see. It's slower than the previous weapons that we've used. Just because you have to actually shoot at things and charge up for it. But when it does actually do something, it does activate it completely, basically. And you can kind of undercharge if you need to, but it's a lot less effective. Okay, dualies are pretty good for combat. And a little bit good for speed. But one thing that they do seem to lack in is a little bit of range. Hitting some of these targets. You can't, but that, it doesn't matter that much if you just keep keep playing it smart, so. Just do hit. Just make sure you're hitting the platforms in front of the platforms that you want to stand on. And then you can get a lot further, a lot faster. Oh, I really hoped I could try and climb up that. Because you can paint its side, so that could be another way of getting up. What just happened? I'm pretty sure the propeller just hit me, which is not good because it says be all the way back here. I don't even think I could get hit by the, the propellers like that. But I did, and now I have to spend all this extra time. The Brillo is good, it's got a bit of a short range at the moment. And it's... Power isn't extremely good. But if we upgraded it, it might be quite good for this. It has a similar range to the Dooleys, actually. It feels like the Brillo has the range of dualies and the power of something else I can't remember and maybe the kind of effect of a slosher in a way with its the way that its bullets go down it's quite interesting actually and the splatling is actually quite interesting for this because it's very reliable for hitting things with just a regular charge It also has the range. That was my mistake. Shouldn't have gone for it without actually hitting that. The spotlight definitely has the potential to be fast if you don't make mistakes. 
And if you do things efficiently, which I'm probably not doing things as efficiently as I could be. It might also be good to upgrade as well. And just see how amazing it can be. Blaster is strong, but it's not really the best for climbing walls. There's only one time that you really need to worry about that, though, in this level, so... Good for covering ground, not walls. And its range is decent enough, so... Oh, really? Stop dripping on the thing, please. It's really annoying. But hey, if I actually distract you, it means I can get up here sooner. That's interesting. That guy just despawns as soon as you go past him. The brush is actually kind of similar, in a way, to the blaster because of its... this coverage stuff. It's a little bit better at covering walls, though. Just a little bit, and a lot less good at covering floor, which makes it kind of the counterpart to the... blaster, in a way. In a way. I'm so bad at this game. Trying to go way too fast. Can I go back this way since that's probably faster by doing it like that? I've been doing that with the other weapons though, so it's not really going to help that much. Especially because of short range. And I think the stuff up ahead is only only spawns in when you go over this way, so it's not gonna, like it's going to save you time over here with different maneuvers. You can kind of uh, go in, a, in squid form across very small gaps, which is interesting to think about with this level because of all the sponges, but I don't know how to safely use that to go fast. I struggled a lot with that level. Money. Let's go upgrade another weapon, quickly, since we've got a little bit more power eggs. It's very slow getting lots of power eggs for this. I think I might actually upgrade the Hero Splatling. Oh boy, my favorite level time. My favorite enemy as well. Because of that... that that's why it makes the level so good. <sighs> this should be a lot easier though with the better weapons. And you can make this level go by very quickly, but... It, yeah. I've already gone into some detail on how to get through this level quickly, but still. You have to really have long range to be able to take it out quickly. I wonder how much quicker quicker you could get through these levels if you had the squid roll thing. Oh my goodness, hero blast or, or hero shot is just powerful. So powerful you can just take out shields at when it's level three. I want to make that jump, but I don't think you can make that jump from the rail to here. Also, can I get you, please? Nope. That'd be nice, though. There's some weapons that you can get him before he goes up all this way. Again, this section over here, if you can get him early, that is very good. But it is difficult. And you're probably just going to make him loop around so you can get him. I almost got him there, though. Because he goes down this way, and then he's basically cornered himself. So powerful. Come on, thank you. Early, early that one, except that that one doesn't even matter anyway, apparently. It's the ones over here that matter. One of them, at least. Two of them, actually. Just need to get the right thing, and then you're out of here. You can spend more time here to get more power eggs, for sure. But I'm going to skip that for now and get a good time. If you, if you get a good time and then, like, first off, then the, any weapons that you have any mistakes with, you can basically spend getting power eggs. 
but you do use your sub weapon a lot first level because having curling bombs is super helpful to just go forward. Nice, got that one early. Oh, that was very satisfying for Roller right there. I didn't feel like I did that bad, but apparently just the hero shot was good for that level. Even though I got some early timings with the Roller. Guess I was just too slow moving around normally, or something, which is weird with the Roller. I'd have expected it to be faster. Now Charger is actually good for this because we can actually get things early with aiming correctly. We can travel quickly, we can go up walls quickly, it's just good for this level apparently. As long as you use it right. I'm bad at using it though, which is why I'm not going to get a good time with this now. If I got the timing on that right, just before, it would have been good, but nope. Nope, didn't get it early. Oh, so close. I saw the thing come up, and I fell. That's not good. Got it somewhat early, but I also fell off, so that's going to add to my time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. I mean, I was close. But Charge got still three minutes, so... I think I'm not going to get a better time than this. I almost missed the key. Please! Nope. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get a good time with Umbrella. I'm going to spend some time collecting power eggs, since I want more of them. Enemies only seem to give a little bit of though. I actually almost got that with the thing. Umbrella. Just a regular shot. I think I'm going to round all these up because I really like rounding them all up. Oh, did I blow one up? No, I think I just got something else, probably. I love just des absolutely destroying all of them. <laughs> it's what they deserve, I guess. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Four minutes. That doesn't say something. I know I'm, I've spent a lot of time here, but oh my goodness, time really adds up. I'm surprised that worked out so well. Well, how did I grab that? I was really hoping that the Splatling would be the chosen weapon, but I don't think it will be. Not with my skills, anyway. You can get that one early, apparently. If you play your cards right and use the... Surrounding, so you can't see you. Same with this one, actually. The blaster might actually be the weapon of choice for this one, possibly. The weapon of legend. 259. I can't remember what the first time I got was, but the blast was actually pretty good for that level, apparently. But the hero shot is just unbeatable at this point, apparently. Even though I thought other weapons were definitely good in specific stages, I guess not. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe if I upgrade, upgraded the blaster, might have done better. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, I didn't get go fast enough with the slosher. I struggled a bit near the end. It might have had a better time, though, if I didn't struggle at the end. Yeah, I don't think Brush was going to do any do it, so I'm just going for egg for power eggs now. It just doesn't have the range. It just really doesn't have the range to take those things out when you really need to. I remember getting that one early with something on a separate playthrough, and it was really cool. Same with this one, actually. So I feel like you can get a really good time on this, but I just am not good at a game anymore, apparently, which is odd. Although I guess it could also be that I'm having a harder time getting incredible times on this because of not upgrading all my weapons. Okay, this level is kind of my favorite level. Kind of? I think it is. It's one of my favorites. It's- I love the blue, like, water color here, so it's one reason to like it. But also it's got all the bouncing stuff, which I kind of like. 
Ah, just need to go quickly. And there's also quite a lot of uh, power rigs you can get here as well, so I might be able to upgrade some weapons after this, maybe. If I actually get enough stuff for it. Come on, grab key. It might take a little bit get to getting through this though. As there are quite a few things that need to happen. I do like the roll for this level so far. Because you can just splat everything, basically. But this section here has a lot of fish eggs for you to collect if you wanted to. You just have to line it up and all that. Which is easier said than done, but still. Even getting a little bit more at a time is going to help us upgrade our stuff moving forward. But 152, that's pretty good time to start off. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get much faster. I did go a bit slow sometimes in that that run though because of um, getting losing my basic armor. But also, if I just skip that one section where you drop down to get as much fish egg power eggs as possible. I could just skip all of that and go fast, but I kind of want the power eggs, so. But I will still try to go somewhat fast. I wonder if it's faster to actually not bounce as high, possibly. Oh, and also in squid form. Like, oh my goodness. Bouncing in squid form is kind of whack. Like, so much more aerodynamic or something. It's just weird. It's so different for some reason. You have a lot more forward momentum. It wasn't that different in that section, though. But, like, look at that. That's so much faster for some reason. You just need to not press down the button. But you also need to live. Which is easier said than done, so. One fifty one with the charger. And I struggled a little bit towards the end, so. But I think using the squid form to bounce does make it go a little bit faster, so. Oh really? You were just the worst. Also, bouncing with the Dooley's dodge roll is weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling. <laughs> Not doing too good. Speed! For some reason! Speed! I speed in the pool! <laughs> it's the worst thing I could possibly say. Oh, dodge roll into that would be interesting to make that work properly. 142 with dualies. Interesting. I did skip that one drop area, basically. And I was doing the squid jumping, bouncing very efficiently, so. Also, don't think this level gives me as many parags as I think it does. It just gives the illusion of lots of parags, I guess. I mean, I do get 100 from that this so far, so that's pretty good. Also, it just seems to be slow at this first bit here, for some reason. Depending on how you play your cards, it does slow down as well in squid form, though. So it's all about how you do it. To keeping your momentum. Why am I flying away? <laughs> I just... I was trying to go the, towards the dropping thing, but... The jumping thing, but I kept going the wrong way for some reason. 137 with the umbrella, apparently. I even struggled at the beginning, but again, I just keep getting better at speed, apparently. It's so satisfying to go fast. But I don't think I'm going to try for another better time than this, so I'm just going to work on power rigs now. It's not very different, I guess, with the different weapons. So just because most of this is just bouncing and ignoring the enemies. The, charge, uh, the splatling is actually kind of different with this level because whenever you bounce, it actually doesn't charge up as fast. Which is interesting. You have to be on solid ground for it to charge at its normal full rate. There seems to be also some kind of double bounce thing when you hit the side of 
the bouncer as in squid form, which means that might be a way in like, I don't know, speed running, which I, I have no idea about, where you could actually bounce from one directly into the other and keep the momentum going all the way to the top without having to bounce an extra time. Maybe, but I don't know. I was also wondering if maybe like changing from squid form to kid form might also like change the way that you gain speed, but I don't know if that's the case. I think there is something with changing forms that does do something with speed, but I don't know what. There are a lot of optional ways to get parrigs in this level. Ah. Oh. I was trying to go fast with the slosher because I like it, but it was it was so close to having a good time as well. Even though I wasn't going fast at the beginning, it could have actually made a really good time for this if I was just not bad at video game. Now to play my random chance card. Nope. Tried to go fast with brush. It's just not great at the end because combat is uh, too rough for it, basically. Too far away, too much distance between you and the enemies, and they have too much range compared to you. At least with the brush not upgraded, which we might be able to upgrade something after this, maybe. If I can manage to get enough stuff from it. Yeah, I just know I don't have enough stuff from it, unless the 10 extra I get from the armor helps enough, but I don't think it is. Just barely not there, I don't think. Here's another money ticket. I need nine more. I think... I can probably hit this to try and get... Some more. Five. Oh, it's so close. Need four more. There's a balloon over here, but I don't know if I can reach that. Oh, I can. But it's probably going to give me one. Why can't I reach? Is it going further away? That's just rude. <laughs> All my hopes and dreams ruined by a single balloon. <laughs> it's really one at a time for each balloon. Okay, let's upgrade. I think... I might upgrade the brush. Maybe. I'm tempted, it, except the only problem I have with it is range. I actually think the charge is probably the way to go. Reduces charge time and allows you to execute a full charge. Much faster. This one's certainly an interesting one. Let's see how fast I can get through it. I feel like this is the one of the levels that I just forget. Or I just have lots of trouble with, apparently. Because there are some weapons that this is not designed for. Like the brush, for example. Short range. Might be wasting some time trying to take out some of the enemies here. But that is okay. Speak of range stuff, please. Thank you. I love waiting. Oh boy. Just gonna dodge everything and go for speed. Dodge, you know, that thing that I can't really do. I wonder if I can make that jump. Probably not, but I'm... I wanna make it. There's also definitely some weapons that can skip this bit. I feel like there's a lot of areas of this level that just slow me down completely. Three or three, new record. Also, really? This range is not incredible for this. And it doesn't have enough power to do it quickly. It's alright up close, but other than that, it's just ink consumption. 
Also, what is this madness? Roller can't even kind of paint the walls good. Oh, really? That should have done more than that. I think it's probably just best skipping over these enemies here, probably, as well. We're not gonna get tons of... ...power eggs from this level. It's just a fact. Oh, hey. Thank you. The range was actually doing something. Somewhat. Just stay active, please. They didn't stay active. <laughs> Please. I just want to get past the roll. The roller just doesn't paint walls good. At all. Please, hit that from here. Nope. That's a real shame. Maybe if I went further across, maybe, but not right now. Unfortunately, just have to do it the old-fashioned way. I just want one weapon to be able to skip this bit. That was a struggle and a half with the roller. Oh, the charger is a gift from above. So quick, powerful, and good at painting in front of you on walls and floors. No limit to its range. There is a limit to its range, but still. There's basically no limit to its range, it's just that powerful. It shoots beyond time itself. Oh, this is so much- this is so much more efficient. I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna try going down. To go quickly through here, because I think that's the way to go. Also, look at this madness over here. I can reach that from all the way over there. Also, I feel like I swim faster for some reason. I don't think that's the case, but it feels like I'm just faster in general for some reason when swimming. Even though it's, there's no way. My just swim speed seems to be faster. Am I crazy? I did say that the charger can shoot through time, so maybe it's uh, done something. I don't know. I really wish. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Roller is a gift from above. 216. Roll. No. Charger is a gift from above, not roller. Complete opposite ends of the spectrum. Duelies are good, but their range isn't great, apparently. And it makes it even harder for range because they have a dodge roll, so you can't just shoot and jump at the same time. You can only shoot and dodge at the same time. This is the thing that I hate the most, is throwing... Throwing the... Splat bombs at the targets because they just don't stay where they're supposed to. Gotta throw a bomb up here because I don't think it makes sense to just shoot that from this position. I really wish I could jump up this wall faster than that. Because usually when I'm going up a wall, I mash the B button to jump faster, but sometimes it just gets a lot of problems. Which is why they added the squid charge, I'm pretty sure, probably. So that it's a lot less painful. Going up walls. 3 or 9 with dualies. That's decent, but... We've already got our best time, I think, with the Charger, because that's the only weapon that I can think of. It's gonna have the range and speed for everything that it needs. We've also already done the Splatling as well, as with the Slosher. I mean, the, the Splatling is the only one that could probably rival the Charger, but still. I think that's the weapon actually we 
you have to use for the stage in the first place, the first time through. So it doesn't even matter anyway. Kind of, except if you want to actually take time to get speed, get better times and all that. But I'm, I'm just here to get through. Not trying to set a record. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why did that not activate all the way? Oh, again, why? It just keeps doing it. I don't like these switches very much. They're alright, but when you're trying to be somewhat precise, it's just not good. I'm getting very annoyed with this right now. I'm trying to hit this target to jump to it. It's like just out of reach, basically. You can only really get it if you're going slow and trying to... Ah, take your time. But even then, it's still bad. Just any time you want to get this switch, it's just the worst. Ow. I was really hoping that that wouldn't hit me in the corner there, but the things were there to stop me. It's a good thing this pit is here, otherwise there'd be a lot more trouble than there already is. I don't think Brilla's getting a good time for this. I hate these switches so much. <laughs> the, these switches, I think it's... Mostly just this weapon. The Brella is just not working out for this. I mean, I should just be using bombs, but also I really don't want to use bombs. <sighs> for, mo for many reasons. One of them being D-pad is not a great way to switch sometimes. Especially on a pro controller for some reason, which you'd think would be better for switching, pressing buttons and stuff, but no. Sometimes you just hit the wrong direction because of it all being a one thing. Ow, 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 ow. Still alive somehow. 420. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't feel good. You are the worst thing in the universe. <laughs> Go over there, please. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, oh, my will to live is leaving me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Just hit the target. Just hit the target. Who thought a move moving platform with this mechanic? Ah, it's This is why you're supposed to play the levels with the weapon that they give you and nothing else. It's fine. 526. What a good time.